Even said that Joan Crawford did a spicy film, which Eddie and MGM paid to have hidden. Then there was Gene Harlow, who married an MGM writer. He unalived himself mysteriously. The biggest scandal that Eddie made go away was probably Patricia Douglas, who was hired by MGM to work at a party for a sales convention. This is when MGM salesman David Ross assaulted her. Patricia filed a criminal complaint, and then MGM began to smear her reputation. The whole thing went away. Not only did Eddie take care of studio situations, he also handled things at home. Eddie was married to a woman named Bernice for over 20 years. He was never faithful, he was abusive, but they were Catholic and they didn't believe in divorce. He had been having affairs the entire time and he was seeing this woman, Tony Lanier. One day, Eddie's violent with his wife Bernice again, and then he literally breaks her back, so she files for divorce. And then suddenly, Bernice is unalived in a car accident. Instead of mourning, Eddie moves Tony into his house, and then they get married. But Tony and Eddie decide, let's have an open marriage. They don't sleep in the same bedroom, they begin seeing other people. This is where the original Superman comes in, George Reeves. With the permission from her husband, Tony has an affair with George Reeves. And this affair lasts for years. It was an open secret in Hollywood. This was Tony's boo thing. These two are hot and heavy for